Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to explain about Environmental Studies Class 3 CBSE Syllabus. Today's our topic is Drop by Drop. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the uses and sources of water. Madhu lives in Baju, a small village in Rajasthan. It is hardly a village. All you see is sand around the village. One can see some houses when the sand does not blow. Everyone in Madhu's family is upset. Every summer there is a water scarcity in his place. This year it is very worst. It did not rain at all. His mother and sister have to walk a long distance to fetch water as near by the pond. And they also get tired. Each day they spend hours just go to four pots of water. While walking on the hot sand, their feet burn and bristles just cannot be avoided. Once in a month, when the train carrying water from, they are very happy. Madhu's father goes to fetch water in his camel cot. But this does not happen often. People keep waiting days and days for water. Some people collect rainwater. This is done by a special method. By making tanks and tanka, do you know what is a tanka and how it is built? To build a tanka, a pit is dug in the courtyard and it is made pakka. The tank is kept over with a lid. The roof of the house is made sloping so that the rainwater collected here flows through the pipe into the tank. A sieve is attached to the mouth of the pipe so that no dirt goes into the tank. The water is used for drinking after it is cleaned. Just like Madhu, Sonal also faces water scarcity in her house. She lives in Bhuvanagar. Water is supplied only for half an hour in a day. All the people of the area depend only a single tap. Can you imagine how it is? Look at the picture. Sonal is determined to take water from the tap. Whenever she gets a chance, she will fill her bucket even if it is just a drop by drop. Let us find how many drops will fill a bowl or a mug. Children, let us know what is water scarcity. Yes, water scarcity can be defined as a lack of Sufficient water are not having excess of safe water supplies. Water is pressing need in many areas of the world. The scarcity is spreading as water is needed to grow and process food, create energy and power industry for an continually growing population. Climate changes is a key contribution of this factor. Clean and protectable water is an essential integrant of healthy human's life. But 1.2 billion people lack access of water according to recent estimate from the International Water Management Institute city in the world waters. Let us see how can we store and move water from one place to another place. Storing and moving water. Understanding where your water comes from will help you to understand what you can do to mitigate the effects of drought. Your water supply may be from surface of waters or from some of underground. Conserving water is the best way for us to make sure that we'll all have water when even we are in drought. Dams. Dams. To make sure that they have enough water throughout the year. People build dam to store water when they need it. Then a dam is built on a river or a lake called reservoir. It is made stores the water for the people's use. Reservoirs can provide fishes and wildlife habitat and also are often a great places for us to boat and fish. They also can be used to produce power. Another way of storing water is groundwater and well. Another source of water is groundwater. Yes, aquifers are like groundwater lakes. Just like lakes above the ground, aquifers can be different sizes. Some are very small and some are very large. Like some are aquifer. People drill well into aquifers so they can bring water to the surface of their use. Water in aquifers can be just a few feet below the earth surface or 100 feet of deep inside. The water that is closer to the surface is easier for to use. But it can also be more easy, easily polluted than the water that is much deeper. Another type of water store is canals and pipes. Water canals and pipes have been built in many places to make sure that as many people as possible have access to water supplies. 
Canals and pipes are used to transport water from reservoirs and wells to farmers for irrigation and for cities for drinking water. Canals like Central Arzion project and the Los Angeles project carries billions of gallons of water each year to the areas that they do not have enough of water. Desalination We need fresh water for drinking. Our daily activities and for our growing our food. But almost all of the water on the surface of the earth is salt from the oceans and seas. In fact, 97% of all the water on the earth is salty water. People have been trying to find a way to use ocean water in the place of fresh water for many years. With new technology, turning sea water into fresh water that we can drink and use, it becomes much easier and much cheaper. Desalination or removing salt from water is still expensive, but some cities in United States and other countries are building desalination plants to help them meet with their water needs. Let us know how can we clean the water. To clean water, we should have sewage treatment plants when it can be used again at home, agricultural, in industry, etc. So again the process is started to clean the water for drinking and for our using. Children, daily we use 20% of water in kitchen, 20% in garden, 20% in our laundry and 40% of water in our bathrooms. Let us see how can we save the water. Turn off the tap when you are brushing the teeth. Run the tap can use 6 liters of water per a minute. Use the minimum amount of water needed for bath by closing the drain first and filling the bath only 1 by 3rd fully. Stopper the bath before turning water. The initial burst of cold water can be warmed by adding hot water laterly. Make your garden water sufficient. Less watering does not have to mean less gardening. Start opting for plants that do not mind going without a drink for a while. Your garden center will able to recommend plants that need a less water. Don't leave the running tap to clean dishes or vegetables. Use a bowl of water instead of running taps and use 6 liters of water per a minute. Take a shorter showers. We recommended 4 minutes to do bath. On average showers, we use 10 liters of water per a minute. Only flush the toilet if you need to eat. On average, each flush uses 7 liters of water. Keep a jug of water in the fridge. Planning ahead means there is no need to run the water until it gets cold. Verify that your home is a leak free because many homes have hidden water leaks. Fix leak taps, dripping tap can waste more than 60 liters of water per a week. Order a water tub, collect rain water to use on your plants and land. Never put water down the drain when there may be another use for it such as watering a plants or gardening. Cleaning store drinking water in their refrigerator then the letting the tap running every time you want a cool glass of water. Children, from this you have given some suggestion to reuse water. People use these methods only under the conditions when there are scarcity of water. Do you know one of the reasons of the scarcity of water is because people waste it. Just think it how good it would be if everyone got water. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy.